hey developers welcome back so as you can see we have created so far an input element and then based on that input element when you add this getting added and then it's being saved in the local storage as well with the status and then the text element so the two things which are pending is like adding the buttons and then the functionality for the buttons as well so we need to be able to switch the status of this particular task and then vice versa changing it back to the pending state or the complete state and then we also have to delete this particular task with the confirmation pop-up asking for like do you want to delete that's it so i hope you tried on your own if you if you have tried and then like go it to the end then successful then like that's it congratulations you have tackled your javascript basics otherwise worry not like let's tackle it together all right so let's get to it as i said the beginning we have two buttons one is like completed one and then the other one is the delete one so i'm gonna create a button with the class called button box right so i'm gonna create a button saying that okay const toggle button i'm gonna call the mask markers completed or markers pending button as toggle button in a variable so i'm gonna save i'm gonna say document.create element and then the button so which will give me which will create me a button element and then i'm gonna add the class list as button box okay so now we have a button with a button box element and then as i said earlier in the, in the previous video we are going to create a span element which is going to be inside the button so that we can show this value okay so uh, in this particular case i will say button content l and then document dot create element span okay so inside that button kernel we have to set the value of that particular button element as markers completed or markers pending right so for that i'm gonna say button content l dot inner text inner text equal to i'm gonna check if the completed sets of this particular task is true then i have to show markers pending right so i'm gonna use make use of the ternary operator in javascript which is like this so i'm gonna check if task dot completed if it's true i have to do a condition so i'm gonna set the mark as pending as our text value right and then if it's false then i have to set the value as mark as completed okay and for now let's check if this is working i'm gonna i'm gonna add it to the toggle button element itself toggle button dot append child and then the button content l and then we have to add it to the task card task card dot append child toggle button okay so if you go over here yeah as you can see it's there but the styling is a bit messed up i think we need to add the green class yes so the green class needs to go on for the markers completed or markers pending value so for that i can use button content l dot class list dot add green so yeah that's done so as you can see we have created our toggle element and then we have to add an event listener to actually change the value change the color and change the status of this particular button but before that let's get into the delete button which we can easily build now because we already have created the toggle button so i'm gonna repeat the same step document.create element another button and then i'm gonna call it delete button so in the delete button i will add a class for the same thing like button box right so delete button dot class list dot add button box and then once you have it i'm going to create another element for delete button content l document dot create 
element a span value okay so that content should be in the text of that particular um, span is always going to be delete because it's not changing based on the interaction we are making with it right and then we need to also add the class name for that particular button class list dot add red so we have red class and green class so i'm going to add red class to the delete button now that i have it i can append this particular element into this delete button element so delete button dot append child tell button content l all right so now that i have it we can just say okay after the toggle button i need to also add the delete button and child delete button so as you can see that itself is coming over here so the both of them are working but i don't think it will trigger the click event so we need to make it clickable right so we can use the same thing we use for the button over here for the submit by a form event we can use add event listener in this case we are going to use click event so toggle button dot add event listener if it's a click event then i have to change the status of that particular task so i'm going to create an anonymous function or add a function here and then i'm going to say task of index so this particular task So I have access to the complete task array, right? And then the current task which I'm going through is having the index of this index. So I'm gonna say the whole, I'm taking the global array and then I'm saying that, okay, in the global array task, if the index value, if the, on the global array, on, the, on this particular index, if that index value of completed flag, if it's equal to, then if it's completed or not, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the not value of this particular value itself. So I'm taking the value of this index in the task array and taking the completed flag. Let's say if it's false, then I'm going to take the not value of it and then assign it to the actual value of the current value of that particular task itself. So if it's false over, if it's true over here in the beginning, I'm taking the not value and then setting it to false. Okay. So if you look at this now, if, you, if it's a little bit confusing, then I can like show the value itself over here. This might not show because like we are working on the global array itself, but let's give it a try. Okay. So if, yeah, so that's actually working. So in the beginning it was false. And then after you changed it, it changed to true so if you click on it again I, it was true and then it changed to false so that's working as expected and then now we have to save that particular task after this change is done so we will call the save task function we have already created and then we will call the render task because like the status has been changed right so now if you notice marcus completed is working and then if you go back yeah it's the toggling part is working all right so that part is done and then now we need to go to the delete part so in delete part delete button we will also add an event listener saying that delete button dot add even listener same thing click if that's happening i'm gonna call like the same thing and add a function which will take the value and then i also have access to the wait so i call the function and then what we can do is we will get the index value let's just print out for a moment console log index and then if i want to delete yeah, so it's getting the index which is zero and one okay so that part is working so we need this index to like get uh, rid of that element in that particular array so i'm gonna save this index as a global variable 
index to be deleted equal to the current index so we have to define that in our global value right so index to be deleted equal to null in the beginning okay and then after that we have set the index and then we need to ask the customers that okay do you want to actually delete it so we have also called the confirm l over here right so that confirm element will have access to the confirm section over here so we can use that and then we will set initially i think confirm l is set to display none if you look at it confirm is display none in the beginning so i'm going to change the styling using javascript style dot display equal to block okay now that i have changed it now i need to also show a overlay which we have put over here in the style if you look at it i think we have an overlay element so yeah we have an overlay element which will display a background of dark color with an opacity of 0.9 so that we know that okay this um, user is trying to actually delete an element and before that the confirmation everything else in the background is you know darkened so for that we have to add this particular class overlay class to the task manager container so we have access to the task manager container we have already created as a variable on the top right and then now just we can add the class list over there class list dot add overlay so if you notice if you click on delete you can see the overlay and then it's asking for confirm and cancel so remember we have created a confirmed button and then the cancel button which is actually accessing this particular buttons now we have to add an event listener to it so that it can listen on that um, particular event when it's triggered okay so for that i'm going to use confirm button dot add event listener so if the user confirms yeah i want to delete this particular element then we will listen for the click uh, click event and then we will create an anonymous function and then we have to hide that particular confirm box right so we will say style dot display equal to none and then we will also get rid of the overlay so task manager container dot class list dot remove overlay okay so now we have removed it and then we need to actually delete the task because we have got the confirmation so i'm gonna call create a call a function called delete task so i'm gonna say function to delete the task so function delete task which will take the actual index and then inside that index let's check if it's being triggered over here hello i am here and the index to be deleted okay so let's check if confirm yeah so it's coming in now we need to also listen for the cancelled event right so if you click on cancel it should go back it should hide everything and then go back to normal so for that we have the cancel button right and we will also add an event listener to it add event listener click event and then add a function and then inside that we will again hide the confirm element style dot display equal to none and then task manager container dot i no, class list dot remove overlay so let's check if that's working delete cancel yeah that's going all right so now all we have to do is delete that particular element so we have the index of index to be deleted so in javascript we can make use of the splice array method what it does is as you can see it uses a start value it receives a start value and then at which position you want to delete how much how many that's it 
so our stat value is basically the index value and then from that particular index i want to delete the next first element all right oh, one element next one element now we have deleted it let's check if that's working as expected console log, log task check if the task before and then after so since it's a global array i guess it's gonna be not showing the array will be get updating both properly so before it's two elements but since the array same array we are working on the same array it's gone so it used to have car wash and buy grocery but now it only has car wash let's check if it's being deleted from the local storage itself so it's not being deleted from the local storage because we are not saving it we are just um like we have just changed it but we are not saving it for that we can just call save task function and then after that we can also call the render task since we have changed the array right so i think this should complete our application let's check so mark has completed delete confirm okay that's gone all right now let's just add one more and then homework and then i will add another one our task and then buy grocery is completed car wash is completed homework is completed and then let's go back to the pending state and then delete yeah okay so that part is working so that's it we have completed our task manager application congratulations guys so if you if you have any questions about this particular application or if you want to do any other application on javascript please let me know in the comments and then i will address you guys as soon as possible all right until then keep coding i will see you guys in another video with creating another application or a game all right until then see you guys thank you